trying out some new things. I don't really like this one, but um, all right, let's go with this. The first commandment gave the first commandment God gave to Moses revealed that he is unique. There is no one like him, but his uniqueness exceeds the uniqueness of the Mona Lisa. There is only one Mona Lisa in the world, but there are many paintings. There is only one God in the universe, and there is none other. He's not only unique in his class, he's alone in his class. He alone is God. He says, let all the world look to me for salvation, for I am God. There is no other. That is why God tells us to worship no one but him. And that's why we will never be satisfied worshiping someone or something else. Let us reflect. Do you worship only God? Are you devoted to anyone or anything else? How do you know? What other things in the world can be truly called unique? Are any of those things unique in the way that God is unique? Let's look for look at that picture of the Mona Lisa. <sighs> really? <sighs> See you. Thanks for leaving the door open. All right. Let's move on. Let's just pray. How about that? God, I'm really glad that I don't need to look anywhere else for salvation. I praise you for being the only God there is. I am off to embark. How do I get out that thing off my face? Whatever. I'm off to embark on a new, on a journey. So you guys pray for me. And hopefully um, I'll get to check in with you. There it is. Hopefully I'll get to check in with you and continue our prayers. If not, I will give you your Bible verses. I don't know if they'll be as fun as this is. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Technology. Okay, so hopefully when I see you again, I'll be at the beach. Love you guys. Bye.